Coming up in today's programme, Bradford pupils attain new heights, spread themselves widely on the waters and have a deep experience. Equipping pupils for the challenges that they will face throughout their lives is an objective of every teacher. In addition to imparting knowledge and key skills, attributes such as self-motivation, teamwork and leadership need to be encouraged. The aims of the Outward Bound Trust are centred on a belief that outdoor activities can make a significant contribution to the development of young people. The term Outward Bound is synonymous with excitement and adventure. But if you think it sounds like just an activity holiday, then you're in for a surprise. Ullswater in the Lake District. This morning's challenge is to get to the top of Black Crag. Roadsway School is outward bound. Well, Outward Bound is uh, an organisation that's been established for many years now and it's working with young people, giving them an opportunity to learn something new about themselves, to be more effective back at home, back at school, back in the community. Put your right foot on the tree. Put your right foot on the tree. Yeah, put your right foot on the tree. Yeah, your right on the tree. By the no, no, high higher up. High, high. And push. Yeah, go on, just push yourself. Put your bum on the tree and put your leg <laughs> up on the top. Put, yeah. put, now put, put your, your right foot on the tree. Now put right that foot, other leg over the right side. Foot on the tree. Uh, it's very easy to take a group of young people rock climbing. It's much harder to get those young people to start thinking about what that means in terms of trust, communication, understanding each other. Now we don't teach that to young people. We facilitate that and we get young people to reflect on that and, and bring that learning out to themselves. Andrea Carmichael regularly brings pupils here from inner city Bradford. We have here this week, we've got um, two, two groups of students. We have a, a group mixed together on an adventure and challenge week. And the focus for them is to learn through different experiences. They'll do a variety of activities, um, some on the water, some on the ground, and then some off site, learning how to challenge themselves in, in, in different kind of ways. Outward Bound is all about challenging people outside of their comfort zone. Instructor Bernie Gill Martin explains. Right, so let's call this little circle here comfort zone. Someone give me a specific example of where you might be in your comfort zone. Yes, my bed. Your bed, spot on. Do you reckon you learn anything or improve or challenge yourself as, regard, as regards to staying in your comfort zone? No. Okay, okay, cool. Right, another idea. Someone tell me what panic, Zach, tell me what panic zone is. Where you panic. Where you panic, spot on. If you're panicking, if you're freaking out, all you want to do is get out of that situation. Get the hell out of there, all right? Um, so you're not going to be bothered about listening to anything. Should you think you learn anything? No. And if you're panicking? No. Spot on. Okay. What do you think this middle zone is? In between. In between zone, yes. Otherwise known as the stretch zone. So where do you think you need to be or want to be? Where do you want to be at Outward Bound while you're here? On the outside. Totally. Yeah. This stretch zone. Because in that zone, that that's where you're going to learn stuff, that's where you're going to improve, that's where you're going to have new experiences, new adventures. Nice and loud. 
For Bernie's team, the stretch zone this afternoon is a high wire course among the treetops, 12 metres above the ground. We're not trying to teach them to be rock climbers or canoeists. We'd love it if they take that on and that's part of their healthy lifestyle after Outward Bound. But the real challenge for us is to use those activities to get young people to understand more about themselves and more about uh, e each other. Clip one! Good. Well done. That's it. And again, big step up, spot on. Right, swap white, swap your white. The activity itself is not um, that important. It's what they learn from that activity. I've, I've seen students come and be absolutely terrified and, and have stood at the, at the bottom of a ladder and said, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I'll shake you out to see them then get to the top of that ladder and jump jump off onto a trapeze and you see the sense of achievement on their face. Um, it, it's absolutely phenomenal. If you don't want to do it, that's fine. It's up to you what you want to do. Burning. Burning. Get your foot back on and you can get back up, yeah? Pull yourself up. And so many times I've heard a young person say, well, I didn't believe that I could do that. And then I've got them to do another task and then another task. And then all of a sudden they say, Hey, do you know, I don't think it's quite as difficult as I thought it was going to be. Maybe that uh, interview, maybe that homework, maybe that work back at school, it isn't going to be as impossible as they had, had first thought. That's it. That's it. Take your time. No matter how small the achievement, everything is celebrated and nobody is made to feel like a failure because they haven't completed an activity for them. And it might just be that getting to the top of that ladder is progress for them. And, and, and that, to me, is, is, is one of the, sort of the most important things about Outward Bound. The older pupils have been assigned to instructor David Gracie. Their task for the afternoon is to build a raft. You're going to have to build it the right way up. Heavy logs as well, if you make sure that you're not going to trap anybody's fingers in them, guys. Okay, I'm going to show you a square lashing. It's a really easy way of tying a square lashing, it's just the name of the knot. Before the team can take to the water, there's the small matter of navigation to sort out. Sit there for you, move the Yeah, you guys. When I shout left or right, say right side, we start paddling backwards, yeah? Do you understand? Will everybody understand that? Yeah. So you need to be quite clear about what's going to happen then. Single file line, please, in front of me. The next challenge for Bernie's team involves a network of subterranean tunnels. Yeah, the teams are doing two tunnels challenges. Um, there's a team A and a team B uh, at either end, uh, and their job is to get through the tunnel system uh, as, as two separate teams. Uh, and in the centre, they've got two tasks to hey, do. Wait until your team arrives, guys. Remember, you're waiting for the go from me. Nine, eight, seven, go! Go! I'll be able to go. 
I'll leave it in. This one is tiny because it all goes up here first. Yeah. Can you move it? Yeah, it's easy. Ow! Just take Ow! Just take Ow! Slope. I lose them full scared. I can't see anything! Come on, Shet, and you can do it, mate. You want some light? What's it like? Wait, wait till I'm shining it back through. I'm shining it through. Right, you just get in that corner and shine this through. Is this that drop? Right, go on there. Have your feet got to go first? They've got two tasks to do. Uh, they've got to swap some equipment uh, and bring some equipment out at both ends. Uh, they've also uh, got uh, two, two halves of two separate jigsaws uh, in two packages. Uh, they need to swap those jigsaw pieces in the centre of the uh, in the centre of the tunnels, so that when each team emerges, uh, they'll come out at each end with uh, with two complete jigsaws. Thirteen minutes remaining. This challenge focuses on uh, a couple of skills. Um, uh, the main focus for these guys, uh, this is a leadership task, uh, seeing uh, what makes a leader, uh, and also putting plans into action, uh, discussing discussing the outcome uh, of, of the plan after the activity finishes, yeah. uh, to see how they come through for the next task. They may have made it back to the surface, but have they completed within the time? Okay. Uh, it actually took you 24 minutes. Oh so well done God. for that, guys. Round of applause. So not only have you achieved it, you've achieved it in the time limit. Back on the lake, David's team finally seemed to have got their act together. To come away, in, in my opinion, on, on a residential like this, it is a privilege and an honour because you see students arrive at the beginning of the week, um, some of them with very little idea, and at the end of that week you take away a group of people who feel more motivated and enthusiastic about life in general. Well, Outer Bounds are very much a historical reference. It's a nautical term as they were making their journey uh, out to sea and I think that metaphor is still really relevant to today's young people. The learning that we do here at the centre is not the end of Outward Bound, it's very much the beginning. You can find further information on this and other similar school trips by looking under the Resources and Support Materials section on our website www.teachers.tv forward slash worth the trip.